Hello friends, it's me. And today we are watching another Darman video about a billionaire girl who gets bullied. What are they gonna bully her for? Your bank account is too big. Let's watch. Oh my god, I love your shirt. You look so cute today. <laughs> what is that? A chef prepared meal? Perhaps a filet mignon? In your Dior lunchbox? And nobody's gonna talk to you? What the heck, Rosalyn? Yeah, what the heck, Rosalyn? I could sue you for 1% of your parents' net worth and be set for the rest of my life. Now I don't have anything to eat for lunch. Girl, it's on the floor. It's not inedible. It hasn't even been three seconds. Pick it up for goodness sake. Cause after the three seconds, it belongs to the streets. I'm so, so sorry. I didn't see you coming. Yeah, whatever. It's just food, right? Not a big deal for you, Miss Millionaire. I'll buy you a new lunch right now. No, thanks. I don't need your sympathy money. Just because you can throw away your money on all your problems doesn't mean everyone wants that. Yeah, I may not be rich like you, but I'm not asking for handouts. I wasn't trying to be rude. Ooh, check out the royal lunch. Even the way she eats is so pretentious. No wonder why no one wants to sit with her. She acts like she's too good for everyone. No, I don't think I'm better than anyone. I mean, like, what do you want her to do in that situation? She offered to pay for the lunch and she apologized. What do you expect her to do? Buy your family a house and pay for all of their bills and college tuition for all your future children just because she got money? Like, she ain't doing nothing wrong. Yeah, look at that. Last time I checked, we were going to school, not a fashion show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who even wears designer clothes to school? These are the only kind of clothes I have. Good for you. Way to rub it in. You should try this thing called empathy. Not everyone can afford a walk-in closet with Chanel and Dior. I have never seen a kid get bullied for wearing nice things or being rich for having money. Like, is this an actual problem? Because I am completely unaware of this. Dang, Darman, how are we gonna go for him? Ew, did you get that from Goodwill? To ew, she's wearing Chanel in a public school? Also, if she's a millionaire, why don't she go to private schools? What the heck? Instant karma at its finest. Thanks a lot, Rosalind. Yeah, I'm gonna write all soaked. Ugh. Oh, let me guess, that's her driver. Is there anything I can do? Like, give you guys a ride. And what are we supposed to do with our bikes? We don't have a private driver to cart us around in a Porsche. <laughs> Throw them in the back. He heard them snickering and bickering from a mile away. Let me just skirt over this puddle real quick. It honestly deserves. Don't let us hold you up. Her chariot awaits, princess. Just say you wish you could live my life. That's all right, Rosalind. Sometimes you just gotta tell them how it is. So she ain't even do nothing. You carry on, peasants. Huh. Are you liking your new school? I still don't understand why you wanted to switch from private. It's going... Okay. Why would that be the child's decision? I don't know, based on the quality of people that I know who went to private school, they learned a lot of things that I didn't like manners. For a start, my public school experience, kids are kind of unhinged. I was wondering if tomorrow I could have school lunch instead of- Chef, cafeteria food, ill. Y'all have any idea how genetically modified that food is? No. Who knows what they put in that? Chef only uses fresh ingredients. Fresh, organic, gluten-free, grain-free, keto. Anyway, I gotta run to the office. There's a big deal I am trying to close. Didn't you just get home? I thought we were gonna hang out today. We were, but like I said, there's a big deal I'm working on. Don't forget this job pays for your clothes. The chauffeur, the chef, the maid, this house, I gotta go. Well, maybe I don't need any of that. If people are just gonna make fun of me, I think no child needs all of that fancy stuff. That's just me. Will you at least be home for di dinner? <laughs> hey, Dad. Are you still in China? Yeah, honey. Um... Bro's eating noodles. Are you in China? <laughs> Pretty sure you can eat noodles from anywhere. I had to stay an extra day. Don't worry. I promise I'll be back in time for your birthday Saturday. You make a lot of promises that you can't keep. You know, the biggest flex here is that she's rich and she got both her parents. A lot of people don't realize this, but even having parents, having siblings, having family, people take that for granted. Be grateful for what you have. I'm sorry, but your birthday's gonna be different. There's no way I'd miss your sweet 16. I gotta go, sweetheart. You and your mom, enjoy dinner. Love you. Mom's not even having... Okay. Girl, don't you got a TikTok to scroll through while you eat? Would you like me to ask Chef to make you some lunch? Or are you going out with your friends, Miss Montgomery? Um, I'll just meet at the mall when Walter gets back. Excellent. Chef is preparing a special cake for you tonight as a pre-celebration for your birthday. Wow. Make sure to leave room. Yeah, I'd rather have 
a chef that's some friends. Chef can be like a friend. A friend that's like a really good cook. Like just go hang out in the kitchen with chef. Talk to him about your problems. And he makes you a cake. I ain't gonna make it, but buy whatever you want. Oh, okay, you know in the beginning how I said you can't make fun of a rich person? What are you gonna make fun of them for? I got it. Ha 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 ha, you're so rich, I bet mommy gives you a credit card instead of spending quality time with you. Ha ha ha, must suck. I don't know, also people think that just because somebody has money means they don't have feelings. Like sure, you can wipe away your tears with a hundred dollar bill, but a tissue is still softer. Your mother instructed me to use the black card. Oh, the black card. He's getting a little too excited. It's like he's gonna take himself on a shopping spree. These dresses should I wear for my birthday? I'd say, why choose one? When you could just get both. Yeah, when you got mommy's black card, why not? Those things got like literally no limit. Like if you wanted to like buy a $50,000 bag, you could. Swipe the card. You want to buy a car? Swipe the card. How do they like trust you will pay it back is the question. <laughs> Can we go to Urban Outfitters or H&M? I'd rather wear jeans and sneakers. And sneakers? I don't think your mother would approve. Wait, they got rich people sneakers. This is the sneakers that the rich people wear to blend in. You've probably seen these before. They're called Golden Goose. I don't know, they're kind of cute, but like they look dirty and used up and they're like $600. What is this? Rich suburban moms love this brand. Gotta blend in with the brokies while I do my midday target spree. Those dresses are much nicer. Hi there. Are you finding everything? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I didn't realize you worked here. Sure you didn't. Is this some kind of power trip to you? No, no, not at all. My mom was gonna bring me here, but she couldn't come, so she gave me her card. Why would you tell her that? I'd be like, yeah, girl, I'm going shopping. Her life must be so easy. Just shopping around with mommy and daddy's money while us peasants wait on you. <laughs> you don't even have to carry your own bags. It must be nice living a perfect little life. What's wrong? her that her life sucks so bad that she gotta make fun of her what does she even do my life is far from perfect you see miss montgomery it's so good to see you is your mother here as well no she couldn't come oh i see well it's still great seeing you what are you waiting for can't you see she needs a fitting room <laughs> i was just gonna buy both of these hopefully one works for my birthday it's for your birthday then you must try them on because we have to make sure they're gonna be perfect. Go on, Brooke. Don't keep Miss Montgomery waiting. Yeah, Brooke. Oh man, if I wanted to bully her back, I would call her Brookie. She is one letter away from Brokey. <laughs> Ouch! Literally just sliced my knee open. Karma is alive and well. That's why you should be a nice person. <laughs> An only piece of cake for you, Miss Montgomery. Thanks, Ken. <laughs> Your mother asked me to go over many options for your upcoming birthday oh. celebration with you. Wow. Oh, isn't she gonna be home soon? That's so fancy. Bro, if I was her, this dude would be my best friend. She may be running late. If I may make some suggestions, we can do caviar, wagyu, <laughs> lobster tail, you name it. That all sounds all right. too fancy. I was thinking maybe burger and a milkshake from a diner. Can we have wagyu burgers and then put a little bit of caviar on them? I feel like everybody would want to be her friend. Oh. I gotta take this, one second. Hey dad, I, I was thinking if you came here early before my birthday, could you help me? Let me guess, another broken promise? Yeah, I really tried, sweetheart, but if I, if I can't get these issues resolved, yeah, you know, they're, the stores, they won't have any products to sell. My company really needs me. What about me? I need you. Baby girl, you don't pay the bills though. It's like, if you have really successful parents, I feel like they're not gonna have time for you. Yeah, same with like a successful boyfriend. They are not going to have time. They're busy working. They can't be with you like 24 seven. Some people love that. They like the space. You know, I got both short ends of the stick. My parents worked all the time and made no money. When am I gonna start being a priority to you? And mom. How old are you? You're like in high school. This looks a lot like only child syndrome. She real needy. When you're like the only child, it's just me, me, me. By the time I was in high school, I had a job. I was making money. I was paying my parents bills. I was taking care of my siblings. You don't need mommy and daddy to help you make every decision in your life, especially at your age. I swear I'm gonna make it up to you. And the good news is I've sent lots of gifts that should get there on time. I'm getting a call. I gotta go. Why is she even having a birthday if she has no friends? <gasps> Oops. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, you so did that sorry. on purpose, just like I you did the lunch. Just like you didn't see me yesterday. <laughs> Don't celebrate Rosalind's sweet 16. With the foot. 
That was disrespectful. No one's gonna want to go to your pretentious birthday party. I decided to not invite anyone. Because you think you're too good for everyone here. No, I never said that. You didn't have to. It goes without saying the way you strut around. And you had the audacity to show up at my work and completely- No, I- I didn't know you worked there. That's a load of crap. Do you know how stressful my job already is? What do you mean stressful? I am assuming she works at like a very fancy clothing store. How is that stressful? You don't got Karens coming in there. Probably like one of the most chillest jobs. You don't because you've never worked a single day in your life. You get everything handed to you on a silver platter. Newsflash, not everybody gets to live a fairy tale. <laughs> Newsflash, buddy. That doesn't make you better than us. My life is not a fairy tale like you two think it is. You see, I may have been born into a rich family, but my parents are constantly working. They never have any time for me. Their jobs always come first. While other kids are hanging out with their parents, I'm usually by myself. It always hurts watching parents make time for their kids when my mom and dad can Barely give me a second of theirs. Oh, this is why you gotta have two kids. Otherwise, they're lonely. They just wanna like play with the parents all the time. It's like dogs. You can't have one. You have to have two, so they just always have somebody else to play with. The hardest part of it all is having to spend holidays and birthdays alone. You're not alone, you're with a maid, and she got you Cartier. I've lost track of how many Easter's, Thanksgivings, Christmases, I spent all by myself with no one to celebrate with. What do you mean nobody? You're, you're in a mansion with thousands of dollars worth of gifts to open. So you see, I don't think I'm better than you two or anyone. If I could, I would give up all my fancy things if it meant seeing my mom and dad more or even just having friends to hang out with. Why doesn't she have friends? I don't understand. She's so nice. Does she smell or something? Why does nobody like her? People look at me and they think my life is so great, but they don't know that I'm gonna have to spend my birthday all alone. Yeah, really did not done it have guessed now. that's how her life is. You really never know what someone's going through. Yeah, you don't know what somebody's going through. Which is why it's probably best to always be nice. Always be nice. Like, I will never understand people who just like attack somebody for no reason. Like somebody scrolling through TikTok. Oh, I think this person's ugly. I'm going to tell them how much of a hideous beast they are. I have no idea why people have the need to like say mean things. Who got time for that? Happy birthday to you. Miss Montgomery, oh, some more cute. packages came for you in the mail. They're from your mom and dad. Would you like them with the others? Sure. Would you like to open some gifts now? I think I'll just go to my room, but thank you. Happy birthday! Oh. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? We wanted to celebrate with you, if that's okay. We brought games and gifts. Of all the hundreds of people who go to her school, the two biggest haters are gonna come to her party. What about everybody else? All the probably won't compare to anything you have. <laughs> Trust me, you guys being here is better than any other gift I could have received. Come in, please. Take your shoes off. Whoa. <laughs> this is your place? Sorry, there's no one here. Not much of a party. But if you're hungry, Ken can make us some food, whatever you want, and Walter can take us wherever we want. I feel like this would be the coolest thing ever. She got a driver, she got a chef, like who wouldn't want to be her friend? Please accept my deepest apologies for splashing you. It, it's okay. I got big ears, I heard what you said. Don't say it again and you won't get splashed ever again. It's your birthday. What do you want? I want to go to Urban Outfitters and, and play Jenga. <laughs> it's so nice to be wearing sneakers. Why does she act like she can't wear sneakers if she's rich? Thank you guys for celebrating my birthday with me. It means a lot. Of course. And even though we know you have all the money, this one's on us. Oh my gosh, look at that loser drinking a milkshake by herself. I know, what a total weirdo. <laughs> Okay, that was rude. This is exactly why I will never go to a restaurant by myself again. I feel like people just like secretly be judging you. For what reason? Like people can't have a drink by themselves? Bro, I'm hey, hungry. I'm broke. Are you not allowed to eat by yourself? You wanna come sit with us? Ashley, and Brooke thanks. is a good guy now. I just lost my daughter and it's really hard Aww. for me. I'm so sorry. Come on. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's nice of you to do charity work. <laughs> Is she mad because her food came out before hers or something? You guys may think you're funny and all, 
but you're not. Ashley just lost her dog. The last thing she needs is you two teasing her. Oh, now I feel really Yeah, you bad. should. We didn't know. Yeah, you never know what somebody's so, going through. Exactly. So stop being you mean for going. no reason. That's why you should always be nice. You know, whenever I see somebody saying mean things online, like to me or other people, I just think, wow, how horrible does your life need to be to say mean things about random people? Birthday girl. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! And then the mean girls joined in with them. I say this all the time, it costs zero dollars or zero cents to be a nice person. You don't even have to be nice, you can just be decent. Or you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. You can have all the mean thoughts you want inside your head, and they don't have to leave, you can just leave them in there. And then when you have so many mean thoughts pile up inside your head, so much that it fills your body from your head to your toes, I don't know, then go punch a wall or tear a piece of paper. It's less destructive. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and that face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.